I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this. This Bionic. Uh, there is there is not a huge difference, but there is definitely a difference uh -huh. in sound, in feel, in everything. There is definitely a change. Yeah, the flex. So I have a Prionic carrying case. Didn't even remember I had that. And here we have the Prionic. Oops, I was doing it wrong. So here is the gunmetal gray case. Mass shop OLKV. Oh, flex is very important. Hey, the Arctic Fox. Man, this is gonna be the third time that I have to bring the HB85 back. Why don't you join in time, Arctic Fox? Why? So flex is very important, especially for... Exactly. Here's the HB85 with the half plate. I also have the full plate. Now you're good. This time you're excused. HP85 right here. But don't worry, I'm gonna build this guy real quick, real fast. I even think I'm gonna do it this Tuesday. Right. If you allow me, Mr. Arctic Fox, I'm gonna continue my unbox. Okay, so we have tabs. An USB-C cable. A very unique looking Range, I don't know the name of this thing. They're very nice brochure. The keycaps. Plate. And the PCB, which is hot swappable. So I guess we can try it today. Let's do it. All right. Glad to see you here, Chukan. Oh, not you, Arctic. I thought you were going up. Mario Party, all right, later. Oh, and I forgot. I have something else here to unbox. Uh, I bought the Prionic um, extension kit that allows you to put, um, how do you call that thing that you turn? I forgot the name of that thing. So you can put that thing and other stuff, like dip switches and program them on, on QMK. So I got a case that allows you to have the dip switches and the ro ro rotary encoder. 
So basically, I think this is where you put a rotary encoder, I think, I don't know. And the dip switch here. And this is a very nice orange case. So I'm going to do go with this case instead because I think it's prettier. And we'll see how that goes. Yeah, you see? How dare them, right? Explain us how to do things. Check your PCB, blah, 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 blah. Be sure to install stabilizers. Extra secure or loose plate. Oh, I like the extra secure. To customize, yeah. You get the idea, all right. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is, we'll find out. So it seems like you can put the rotary encoders here, maybe, don't know. <laughs> exactly. And I'm even going to refer to it now. So you do the steel X nux nut on the top and then a brass X spacer. And a screw. That's it. Okay, so let's see how I can make a fool of myself trying to put this together. Or well, maybe what I should do instead is put this piece first. Let's see if I can do that. And of course this is freaking hard. Man, my table is a royal mess at this point. I don't even know where my screwdriver is. And of course it has the wrong bit, so now I need to look for the correct bit. And I found an escape key here. This is almost a build, right? It's 
So to put it together, you basically get one of those uh, small things here. This is hot swappable, yes. And then you screw the screw with on this thing whose name I forgot. Completely forgot. What's where's the instructions again? Lost. Oh, this is an ES121 screwdriver. Yeah, so you put the X nut, the brass X spacer. Oh, and you screw from the bottom. Is that yeah? What I did is wrong, so I'll have to undo it. I can't read instructions, apparently. Interesting, you screw it from the bottom. So I got it all wrong. And we're gonna have to undo what I did. And by the way, thank you for joining us, Shuchi. So it is 25 to, how much is it to US? Really, you like reading instructions? Man, I never read instructions. That's why I do stupid things like I just did. Part of the ritual. I am too anxious for instructions. I just want to start doing it. And that's why sometimes I get things so wrong. Really, they go to, from Germany to US and then to Russia. That's fucked up. 
Oh, I need to put the stabilizers. Let's see if those stabilizers are worth putting here. They are clip-ons. Are they cherry? I don't think so from the sound of it. Nope. Clones. They will go directly to the trash can. You know what? Um, are we doing one space bar only? I think so, right? Let me check. Yeah, one space bar only. So I can actually use this guy I have been saving. She's a rich people stab. That came with my Zephyr and I didn't use. I am sure this is going to be a problem. Look. Can you see that this thing touches the screw? Let me just for the sake of it test this PCB as is to see how bad that of a thing that is. It doesn't seem to matter, so I'm gonna leave it as is.
<laughs> I love that. Uh, Avatar. This tool is very nice to tie everything together. Very cool. Oh, and now I got it. Damn it. I did it wrong again, I think. This is the same screws you used to... And now I'm fucked because I will have to undo everything again. Let's see if I can do one by one. And then I don't lose everything. Let's see. Oh, I can't. So back to square one, guys. How nice is that? I use um, two. One is called Shop Fence, and the other one is called US Closer. Shop Fence is, is very famous for shipping things to Russia, actually. Check it out. It's ran by Russian people. Shop Fence. Oh, it was you that asked, Chokan. Sorry. So, US Closer and. Um, Shop fans. Oh, and one of the... I think I'll have a problem here. One of the screws is not coming out. I'll try to undo this first. Let's see now. Yep, that was it. <laughs> instructions is useless actually I, I saw the part that part of the instruction and I missed this part here where it says case I missed that Yep, we have to start over completely. So guys, if you're watching this as a VOD, this is how not to assemble a prionic.
Ruin <laughs> Yeah, I guess you're right, Choken. Yeah, they are really cramped. I need to sell stuff. You sound like my wife now. Just FYI. <laughs> yeah, even though my wife don't have that second intention. She does have others, not that one. Oh great, I guess I will never be seeing this nut again. Three weight Jane V2. Yeah, this was more work than soldering a keyboard. And the part that I hate is in order to change a case, you need to disassemble everything. Lost a nut. Thank God we have redundancy, right? Meaning they shipped four more. So how many switches do we need? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve by five sixty. I was thinking about using those Zilios, but I don't think I have sixty of them. Let's see how many I have. I have 59, I have exactly 60 switches, but I don't need all six because we have less on this row. All right, so we're using Zilios. Oh, and this is north facing, that sucks. <laughs> this numpad looks so strange, right? It's supposed to be used like this.
Wait, did I count right? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten. Let, let me double check. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. No, I have fifty. Just realized. Yeah, I have only fifty. So let me take those out and see what we will use. Should we try Xylence? Maybe I can do Xylence. Let me take those out. <laughs> yeah, again, that's how not to mount, uh, to assemble a Prionic and how not to count switches. Yeah, I don't have the, I don't know where the encoder kit is. I'm not gonna assemble that right now. I need to look through my stuff to see where I put, because that arrived earlier, way earlier. Everything I do is counterproductive, Panda. I am a counterproductive person. See what I did? I don't even read instructions. All right, guess we will have to do... I don't know if the uh, encoder is hot swappable. That's a good question. I'll try, let me see if I can find it. Give me one second. And then we just have to undo everything we did. And no, I couldn't find it. I thought I knew where it was, but I, I didn't. Let me see if I even like those switches. to see a picture of this.
Man, I can't come to like Xylent. I don't know why. I don't like the noise it makes. Let's see. Let's put the whole keyboard and then we can figure it out. You know what you guys can curse me but i think i'm gonna change switches again i just don't like xylence <laughs> Don't hate me, guys. Silence isn't cutting it for me. So I'll let you guys pick. Um, I have Revo White. I have... Uh, some creamy switches and I have tangerines yeah retooled blacks need to you need to loop them to be usable I don't have lube switches ready I hated the Xylens, Wix. So we can do Revo Whites, Tangerines, Tangerines? Okay. Tangerines, it is. I am trying to do a few streams every Saturday um, around this time, yes, and I do at this time on Tuesdays as well, at around 7 p.m. my time, or 4 p.m., uh, 6, 7, 5 p.m. Eastern. Is it what, 8 a.m. for you? Almost nine, yeah. So you're 12 hours ahead of me.
Yeah, so I'll try to stick to this schedule for my Saturday streams. Yeah, I am fast, but I redo things 10 times over. <laughs> All right, let's assemble this. Not assemble this, assemble, put it on the keycaps. And I need to start with the alphas because I'm not very familiar with the symbols. <laughs> We're almost finishing. Yeah, I like this set. And it's PPT, so they sound nice. Yeah, no, I, I, I got it. And they are PBT and they sound very nice. I can, I can tell right away.
Hey, fun spoiler. Welcome. How are you? Very hard to find the right profile for everything. So you found an old NAC APCH25 keyboard. Really? Yeah, I, I'm I don't know what keyboard that is. If you can share the pics, do it. Let's see how well I can type with this thing. Bear with me while I fix this. God damn it. Here you go. Yeah, I don't I don't make any promises. I think I'm going to suck at this. Let's see. Oh, it's not 
on the right place. There we go. Let me mute the music so we can also listen to the keyboard. The N is not working. Let me fix this. Yeah, bent pin. Let me restart this. O is also not working. <laughs> it's going to be more like 12 b words per minute. It's really hard. I don't even know where the enter is. Let's see, 22, it was better than I, yeah, I, I am, it's been a long time since I last did any ortho. It takes me from one to two hours to be comfortable with it. I don't know what your experience with it, but it usually takes me around one to two hours. And then a lot more when I only doing ortho to go back to staggered. Yeah, as an, that makes sense. All right, and it, it, I don't know if you guys catched it, but it doesn't sound bad. Even with um, standard tangerines or vanilla. All right, guys, I think that was the last and longest uh, unboxing of today. How do you guys feel about the overall look of this board? I'm digging it. I like the orange case. The bottom is also pretty cool. It just saddens me that I'm going to have to open this to install the, the things. The dip switch I don't know what else comes on this kit but I really like how it looks yeah and it sounds decent um, I would of course lube those tangerines but I kind of like the overall look of it all right before we wrap this up any any questions anybody
again, thank you so much, Chokan and Panda, for the subscription and for the bits. It's really appreciated. You guys have a good night. And yeah, I'll, I'll probably do the HB85 build this Tuesday at around this time, like 7 p.m. my time, 7 a.m. your time, Chokan. It's going to be Wednesday for you. But yeah. You guys take care and have a good night. See you guys later. Nini to you too. Nai nai. Later. Bye.